In football, there are moments that transcend the sport. Moments where talent, passion, and sheer willpower collide to create something extraordinary. It's what we've come to call peak football. These are the times when players become legends, when teams etch their name into history, and when fans are left in awe. Think of Barcelona's dominance in 2011, Manchester United's treble winning 1999 squad, or even Leicester City's miraculous title win in 2016. But today, we're taking a closer look at another iconic moment in football history, the 2006 World Cup. Specifically, we're focusing on the Italian national team, a squad that entered the tournament surrounded by controversy and doubt, but left as immortal champions. From tactical brilliance to emotional drama, this was a masterclass in what makes football truly special. But to understand the story of Italy's triumph, we need to start four years earlier. The 2002 World Cup was a bitter pill for Italy. The Azzurri, loaded with household names like Maldini, Tati, and Del Piero, were among the favorites to lift the trophy. Yet, their campaign ended in disaster. Facing co-host South Korea in the round of 16, Italy suffered a shocking exit in what remains one of the tournament's most controversial matches. A disallowed goal, a red card for Francesco Totti, and questionable refereeing decisions, including the infamous golden goal from South Korea's An Jung Hwan, sent Italy packing. The fallout was immense. Fans cried foul blaming external factors rather than the team itself. Confidence in the national side waned and Italy's golden generation seemed doomed to fall short. Four years later, they entered the 2006 World Cup seeking redemption, but the odds weren't in their favor. In the months leading up to the 2006 World Cup, Italian football was in chaos. The Calcio Poli scandal erupted, implicating several Serie A clubs, including giants like Juventus and AC Milan, in match fixing. Trust in Italian football was at an all-time low, and many doubted whether the national team could focus amid such turmoil. Yet, perhaps that adversity fueled them. Under Marcello Lippi, Italy assembled a squad that combined defensive grit with attacking flair. Fabio Canavero, Gianluigi Buffon, and Alessandro Nesta formed the backbone of the team, while Andrea Pirlo, Gennaro Gattuso, and Daniele De Rossi controlled the midfield. Up front, Francesco Tati and Luca Toni provided the firepower. It was a squad built to endure and overcome, qualities that would define their run. Italy started the tournament in Group E, alongside Ghana, the Czech Republic, and the United States. Their campaign began with a 2-0 win over Ghana, featuring goals from Pirlo and Vincenzo Iaquinta. Next came a chaotic 1-1 draw with the US, a match remembered for its physicality and three red cards. Italy closed out the group with a convincing 2-0 win over the Czech Republic, securing the top spot. While they weren't blowing teams away, their defensive solidity stood out. The Azzurri allowed just one goal in the group stage, and it was an own goal. Canavero and Buffon were already staking their claim for tournament MVPs. In the knockout stages, drama intensified. In the round of 16, Italy faced Australia in a tightly contested match. The game seemed destined for extra time until a late minute penalty. Controversial, but decisive. The 1-0 victory was hard fought and emblematic of Italy's resilience. The quarterfinals saw a more commanding performance as Italy dispatched Ukraine 3-0 with Luca Toni bagging a brace. But the real test came in the semifinals against hosts Germany, a match that many still call one of the greatest in World Cup history. A game for the ages, Italy versus Germany in Dortmund. A packed stadium, two footballing powerhouses, and 120 minutes of pure tension. The match was a defensive masterclass from both sides, with Buffon and Germany's Jens Lehmann making crucial saves. But in extra time, Italy found magic. In the 119th minute, Fabio Grasso curled a left-footed shot into the top corner, a goal that sent shockwaves through the footballing world. Moments later, Del Piero finished a counterattack with ice-cold precision, sealing a 2-0 victory. The Azzurri had reached the final, and their celebrations were as much about relief as joy. 
The World Cup final in 2006 was everything you could want. Star players, high stakes, and unforgettable drama. Facing France, led by the legendary Zinedine Zidane, Italy fell behind early to a cheeky Panenka penalty from Zidane himself. But Marco Materazzi quickly equalized with a towering header, setting the stage for an intense battle. The game is perhaps best remembered for Zidane's infamous headbutt on Metarazzi in extra time, which really was peak football. That headbutt saw the French captain sent off in his final match. With the score tied 1-1, the match went to penalties. Italy was flawless in the shootout, converting all five of their penalties. Fabio Grasso, already a hero from the semifinal, slotted home the decisive kick, sparking wild celebrations. Italy were world champions for the fourth time in their history, and they'd done it in style. Why is this peak football, you ask? Italy's 2006 World Cup run wasn't just about winning. It was about embodying everything we love about football. There was tactical brilliance. Marcelo Lippi's squad was a masterclass in balance, combining rock-solid defense with creative midfield play. Heroic performances. Canavero's leadership, Buffon's saves, and Pirlo's vision created unforgettable moments. There was high drama. From last-minute goals to extra-time magic, every match felt like a Hollywood script. And there was a redemption story. After the heartbreak of 2002 and the chaos of Calciopoli, Italy's triumph was about more than football. It was about restoring pride. Italy's victory in the 2006 World Cup wasn't just a triumph on the pitch. It was a reminder of why we love the game. It was football at its purest, emotional, unpredictable, and utterly captivating. That summer in Germany gave us peak football, and the Azzurri gave us memories to last a lifetime.